bear with me because what I've got to show you involves the intricacy of this model that's been built in Power Query. We have to go in and modify a calculation. And typically we could just go add a custom column and keep moving. But this time, because we have an existing model in Power Query, and because of the way Power Query works, we can't just go add in columns because we have to consider what other queries might be looking at that query. Will they see the new column? Will they get tripped up and have an asthma attack on us and start throwing out errors? So what we're going to do is modify an existing formula and have it refer to a value and we're going to use drill down to dig out that value. Before we dig into this, I want to show you something. Watch this. Notice how department and inside sales is kind of closed off there. I'm going to spread this out so that we can really see what's going on. And then I'm going to refresh data, refresh. Now it's closed up again on us. Here is how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to go to this table because this is the culprit. Okay, design, properties, uncheck this adjust column width. Okay, now get that to we can see it. Now let's refresh. They refreshed and things didn't go moving around on us. Okay, let's get on with the get on. Here we've got reps, sales, commission rates. We've got advances that have to be subtracted from payments in order to get the final pay. That's why Carl is only getting 559.61 instead of the 2759.61. And let me show you this spaghetti bowl. Let's go to queries and connections. And then I'm just going to edit any, any query. I'm going to view query dependencies. This is what the model looks like to calculate what to pay each person. Consider the sales totals query. That has an impact on the sales and rate query and the by department and the final tally query. So changing something there impacts a lot of things. All right, let's close this. Now, this is the change that we have to make. Somebody comes to us and says, hey, all of those unassigned accounts, there is an agreement that there'll be a total of the sales and then every one of those people will get paid 1.75%. So everybody has to have this $1,551.19 added to their commissions. So we're going to go where that commission is calculated. But let's make a query out of this. From table slash range. And we already have the total and the rate and the amount that needs to be added on. So I'm going to highlight this, right click, drill down. Let's call this added. Now let's go to where the commissions are calculated queries sales and rate here's where we have the total sales commission rate and we have a formula here that multiplies the total sales and the commission rate now check this out we're gonna go plus added okay Ooh. check that out now that added rate has been applied to the payment. Let's close and load. Now let's hit refresh. There we go. Carl gets $2,110.79 instead of that 500 and something. The result seems pretty simple, but the real challenge is understanding how Power Query works 
how it all hangs together, the issues around how it hard codes data into the M code that's behind it, and making sure that you modify things in such a way that they don't blow up on you. Said another way, context defines reality. And I'll see you in the next video.